it's finally 2024 so you know what that means i'm gonna be uploading way more tutorials this year that's my new year's resolution <laughs> Okay, 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 I, 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 I. So you just want to learn how to make this laser effect. I got you covered. In this tutorial, all you will need is the plugin called Saber. It is a free plugin, so all you have to do is go to Video Copilot's website or click the link down in the description. You'll also need extra plugins like Deep Glow and Sapphire to, you know, make more of a customization out of it. With that out the way, make sure you guys do leave a like if you did get any help from this video and subscribe for more VFX tutorials in the future. Let's get right into this video. So first things first, what you want to do is make a composition. My composition will be 1920 by 1080, 23 FPS. And now what you want to do is right click and hit new solid layer make it any color you like now go to your effects and presets and type in saber it'll be under video copilot now you'll be prompted with this nice blue glowing neon light here's a preview of the effect that i use with the laser now this was an overlay given to me by a friend and i just added my little twist to it to make it as cool as it is but in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your own and you know use it for all your videos now for the preset we can select any one of these presets right here as you see, if you go through them, it'll change the look of the light, cellular, core, electric, energize. You get the point. They're all different. They all look different, all get different colors, everything. The preset that we want to use is called tractor beam. As you see already, there is a little resemblance. Now what we want to do, we want to make it a line. We don't want it vertical. We want it horizontal. What you want to do is click on these two center points and drag them to each of the end of the sides. So see, we have something like this, it is moving slow, but this is not what we want. Follow my steps and we'll make this look clean. Now you wanna drop down on the customized core. We wanna turn this halo intensity to 350. Now you get a more brighter look at this. We also wanna change our glow spread to one. Basically what that is, is the glow diffusion around it. We're gonna make it one so we don't see as much of it. And now we're gonna to go to the distortion, click down, and click down on glow distortion. We'll be prompt with more effect settings here. Now you can mess with this and choose whatever you'd like, but if you guys want to follow my steps, continue here. We're going to change this distortion amount to zero. Basically what that is, it is around it. As you see here, if we bump it up, you'll see all these little dots around the beam. We don't want that, put it to zero. Now we can go to core distortion and for the noise speed, we're going to bump that to three. So now as you see, the beam will be moving a lot faster. And that's what we want because when we're able to timer map it on you know a music video or whatever the speed when it slows down will look a lot much cooler rather than it being already slow beforehand so now what we can do is also change this noise bias to about one just going to change the middle area you guys can change this to whatever you want but that's what i'll do now we're going to go to our glow settings right here and this is where we're going to like calm down the glowness we don't really want it to glow as much because we're going to do that in post so we're going to change this glow intensity to 25 we're going to change the glow size multiplier to about 130 1.30 we're going to change the glow pre gamma to 1.40 and change the glow one size to about 200 change the glow to intensity to zero and that will be it now if you look at it it is just the beam line going in a repeated cycle now let's say for instance you want to apply this onto a clip with the saber alone now as you see this is my clip now if you do want to keep the saber and not render it out as a video and then change the blending mode to screen what you can do is go all the way down to render settings and change the composite setting from black to transparent now you have the beam on top of your clip and now what you can do is just add a bunch of effects so deep glow this is what it will look like but what i would do personally i would render this out as an mp4 and keep it for yourself you'll have a lot more of a customization if you render this out and i'll show you how so once you have it rendered i'm going to the saber layer enable my clip now i'm going to drag the laser that i rendered into this composition so now as i click and drag you'll see i have the laser now i'm going to right click blending mode screen so if you want to get your laser like this what you want to do is enable 3d layer onto the laser hit s to enable scale r to enable all the rotations as well as your position now i'm going to also right click enable timer mapping so see now i have my clip timer mapped like this now i'm going to match it to the laser so as you see here we're messing with the 3d camera and adjusting it to how i did in the preview clip i'm going to keyframe these easy ease them this is raw so now i'm going to compile all the effects onto this clip so you guys can see the final product i'm going to add deep glow 
going to add a adjustment layer underneath the laser layer i'm going to search for bleach bypass click and drag to this adjustment layer we're going to change this to zero and all the way to the end change it to a thousand with the transform i'm just zooming in a little bit and on the actual clip layer we're going to add some pan crop we're going to add position scale rotation at the end of it position it towards like this so you guys can actually see him and then finally add motion blur and this is the final clip and now obviously you guys can add way more effects but this is basically the gist of how to make your own laser effect now if you guys did find this helpful a like is very appreciated subscribe if you're new i'm going to be dropping a lot more vfx tutorials this year so stay tuned and i'll catch you in the next video